Here we are. It's another great weekend in Florida, and we're here at our waterfront site at Fort DeSoto. In this video, we're going to be exploring around the campground and seeing the fort itself. If you want to check out the beach, we covered that separately in another video. The link is in the description below. There's technically an office that you would normally check into in normal times, but it's closed due to the pandemic. You're free to go straight to your site. This is actually a fairly challenging place to get a site, especially on the weekends. They book up just about as soon as they open, and that's a year out. We were lucky enough to find a cancellation to get our spot. If you're here in an RV, it's a little tricky to get to the dump station. When you leave your site, you actually have to leave the park through the camping area exit and re-enter the park. It's usually not a problem, but it can be annoying if it's a busy beach day and no one wants to let you out. The roads back up past the campground. In the dog-friendly part of the campground, you can walk along the water for most of the way around the loop. I suppose I shouldn't call it a loop though, as it's really just one way. You'll often see the parade of dogs walk past in the morning and in the evenings. As we walk along the water, you can see the camp store in the distance. It's surprisingly well stocked and also serves as a snack bar. Let's continue walking along the sights. You can just barely see our sight from here, off in the distance. The playground looks quite nice if you have kids. It wasn't very busy while we were here. I suspect that everyone's still at the beach or touring the fort. Believe it or not, people actually camp here with tents. I don't think I can go back to that after getting an RV though. I'd miss my air conditioning and hot shower too much. The interior campsites are as big or bigger than the waterfront sites. They are quite nice and I'd have no problem staying at any one of them. That said, get the waterfront. If you want to stay here with a larger RV, you'll want to be pretty particular about what site you get. Our travel trailer is 22 feet long and it was still a little bit tricky backing in. Let's head back to our site. It's time to watch the sunset and light up the fire pit we rented from the camp store. The sun is setting and the fire pit is lit. I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. Good morning. Let's get this day started by heading down the road to the park entrance. It isn't far. It's really nice that they have these bike workstations all over the island. If you have a bike problem, I recommend that you break down next to one. Makes it easier. All right, first thing, let's go check out North Beach to the right. It's still early, so the crowd shouldn't be out just yet. And there it is, one of the best beaches in the country. The best thing about this beach is how undeveloped it seems. It still feels like old Florida when you come here. It may be the middle of winter, but the water is so refreshing. I haven't checked it, but I'd say it's probably in the high 70s. A little chilly when you first get in, but very comfortable on a hot day. Let's go check out what the rest of the island has to offer. We are at North Beach now. Why don't we head all the way to the other end and see what's there? It turns out that there's a small secluded beach down this way. It's not very big, but it does have a great view of the Skyway Bridge. 
We passed a fishing pier on the way here that looked pretty interesting. It's toward the middle of the island, so it's on our way back to the fort itself. It turns out that it's actually the pickup point for the ferry to Edgemont Key. It looks like fun, but we'll have to save it for another day. The bait shop on the pier also serves as the snack bar. You can find t-shirts and the like there as well. Can you believe there's a dog park here too? I never would have expected that. Where to next? The snack bar or the fort? I suppose we ought to go see the fort since we're here for it and all. The snack bar can wait until another time. You know you're visiting an old military fort when you see something like that. It's a 40 caliber 6 inch gun that used to be in place on Edgemont Key. It was moved here as part of the refurbishment and put on display in 1980. Next thing we come across are the fort's two remaining 12-inch mortars. These things are huge. There isn't much to see inside the fort, so let's head up top. The views are supposed to be amazing. Off in the distance you can see a ship leaving Tampa Bay. You won't see any of the really huge ships here as they all have to fit under the Skyway Bridge. You can see North Beach way off in the distance. It's finally started to get a bit busier out there. And with that, we're coming to the end of another weekend. We'll catch you next time here at the Weekend Experience. Thanks for watching the video today. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a like and a subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks.